Hey, Andy here. Good morning. This is a follow on video for the question about how to install, uh, what was it, Discourse over Helm on newly created Kubernetes. Uh, someone asked uh, KWAB0909, what about uh, Bitnami Keycloak? So figured why not, simple one. Did some legwork last night, playing with the chart, looking at the chart. It's the same kind of process in the last video where you have to look at the, typically a readme, quick start. And then what you need to do is kind of work through some of the settings if you want to change things, uh, say ingress, things like that. So I've got a gist this time, and this is kind of a simple script. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go install. I've got a node here. Uh, how many, how many, what do I have? Eight core, 16 gigs of RAM, just a single node. What I'm going to do is this little one liner is going to install RKE2. It's going to install Helm. And it's going to install Hauler just because that's kind of been popular a lot lately. Hauler, by the way, Hauler is a tool for air gapping uh, software uh, for networks that are disconnected from the internet. It allows you to package stuff up. Pretty cool tool. Something to take a look at. Okay. From this gist, because uh, we're still kind of setting up the node, we need to add Longhorn. One of the reasons for this is... Similar to Discourse, Keycloak uses Postgres for its database. Postgres is requiring from the Helm chart stateful storage. So Longhorn's a real easy way to add it. And you can see that it's a few prerequisites, a uh, few packages. And I'm running this on Rocky 9.4. But similarly, this would just work on Ubuntu or other operating systems. Okay, so let's gonna do those two. As soon as it comes back, um, there we go. Whoop, now it's doing holler. Uh, in terms of Keycloak, let's talk about the Helm chart for a second. There is a lot of settings to look at. And in my gist, I actually have it kind of broken down. Let me go ahead and do Longhorn. I have it kind of broken down, but there's a lot of settings. And you can see, how many lines is it? 1300 lines, so that's fun. So typically they'll have a quick start. Like I said, if we go up to this, so it says here, there's the TLDR, how to install, configuration. Here's a typical if you're using an external database, importing realms, configuring ingress. So I started actually from this one, because uh, I didn't necessarily want admin ingress, I just want ingress. And cool. So let's just see where we're at. CTO, get pod. Cool. Well, uh, waiting just right now for Longhorn to come up because that's what Keycloak's going to want. And we can watch that. Error. Why are we erroring? Crash back loop off. Oh, it's probably waiting for the driver. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes these things do take a minute. Being impatient. Um, while that's loading, we still have the chart. Let me go over the values real quick. Oh, wait, this is, I'm not gonna, let me edit this. Because values, values. Ah, okay, I see the problem. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. So we got to write the, the file first. And while we're waiting for that, we can actually write the file. I'll go over the file. I, I pulled it from a couple places. And that'll start. So let's go ahead and create a values. And let's kind of go over real quick. So I'm setting an admin user and a password. I'm setting an IP address. Let me edit this. In case you don't know, slip is... Um, a way to reflect IPs and DNS names. So in other words, anything, any, anything you put in front of the IP address.slip will return with that IP address. So it's a way you can make DNS names without actually making DNS names. It's really, really clever. Okay, so I have the IP. By the way, the IP, this is all running on Harvester, and there's my IP 106. So let's go back to here. Wait, chart, where was I? Oh, duh. Um, it's early morning here. So uh, again, I took this from uh, an existing guide and it was in the, here, it's in the link if you're curious, you wanna read it, is right here. 
about how to basically pass in the key cloak values. And basically all it's doing is it's setting up, in this case, the master, master realm and giving it a display name, giving it clients and client scopes, groups and users. And this will actually go and configure everything for you. Now, if you're adding additional realms and things like that, that's where you can either use the API or you can go and use the GUI or you can probably, you can add in another JSON block into the values and it should read it. Okay, well that's, let's see where we're at. Okay, Longhorn's running, everything's running, perfect. So we've got our values at this point, we've added Longhorn, we've built, put our KE2, all we have to do is just deploy Bitnami. Now the cool thing about the, the Bitnami charts is how they actually deploy using the OCI object model. So that means you don't actually have to do Helm repo add, Helm install, This it's just one command. And notice I've got create namespace, but I'm also declaring go use the values. So that's kind of important, kind of easy. So we'll give this a sec. One of the cool things about this chart is it does try and validate uh, before it kicks you back to the prompt. So at least you know if it does kick you back that it has been somewhat successful. And we'll give that a second. Uh, a couple things to note on this, by the way, a couple things to note on this chart. Uh, there's a global section. Uh, do I have the symbols? No, it doesn't have symbols. Okay. Uh, it's got a global section. It's got image section, auth section. So that's where we set the auth username and password. Uh, as far as the JSON, it was configuration. There's a configuration section. Yeah, here we go. And this is where you can actually pass in. And you can see on the chart, let me go back. Yeah, we can see from the gist, right? So it's auth, admin ingress, oh, key cloak config CLI. There we go, there's the key cloak config CLI. So if it's enabled, you can give it very specific commands. And this actually executes when it comes up. Resources, SC, uh, it's container security context. So you can see there's a lot here. There's a lot more than discourse. Uh, so let's go ahead and see where we're at. We can see that Keycook is actually up and running. And let's do this. Let's look at the logs because it does, it is Java based. So it does take a minute to come up. Let's see, but you see, get added the user realm already. It says it's listening. So whoop. let's make our life easy. What I'm doing is I'm getting the URL right now. I'm going to the browser. Did I do the wrong one? Hold on. 182. Yep. Okay. Hold on. So easy way to do this. I'm just going to edit it. not have saved that file when I did it. No worries. So we'll get ingress again. Cool, cool. Make sure we go to the right host. Interesting. So this is in development. When I was playing with this last night, it did take a minute for it to come up. Oh, it's 182. Okay. Chrome and your... Sometimes Chrome's cache 
Why did it bounce me to 182? All right, let's look at the values again because I might have screwed that up, which is great. Yeah, I'm going to keep it in the video. <clears throat> uh, it keeps bouncing me over to 182 because it wasn't just ingress objects. So where we run the upgrade, this should be a little bit quicker. <clears throat> And if just at a, just for giggles, so that was admin. What was the setting? Admin admin ingress host name. I wonder if it's used anywhere else. Admin ingress host name. By the way, these are really well documented charts. I just want to point that out. The values where it actually says what it's expecting and the value. So what we can do is under templates. I wonder if it's actually used in the config map. Nope, not in the config map. <clears throat> Still cool though. Okay, we'll give this a sec to come up. Well, while this is coming up, hopefully it's been informative. Hopefully, uh, not necessarily that we need more apps to test, uh, but you can kind of get through the, hopefully you understand through the process of like Helm, Helm install, working through the, the quick start and then the readme to do exactly what you need to do. It is an iterative process, unfortunately. Um, it does take some time, but not too much time, hopefully. So it looks like we're waiting for the upstate. So like I said, some, some charts actually sit and lock and say, no, I'm waiting till everything's active before I, before I can return you to the prompt. And if we're curious, we, I just opened the second window. Okay. Running, running, running. I should come back in a second. Should come back. Let's see where we're at. There we go. Cool. And we, because we said admin. And it was admin in that capital P A two two W R. We can see that now it's labeled Rancher Key Cloak for the master realm. Okay, then of course then it came back. Cool. I hope you find this helpful. I hope this uh, checks the box for you. And let me know if you've got any other questions, comments, concerns. And see you on the next video. Have a good day.